Here is a tour of the Lift at Universitaire Medis Centrum in Groningen, UMCG. This building has got lots of old Mitsubishi lifts. And now to the first lifts, which go down to the car park. These lifts have got a window in the cab, but it doesn't really make sense, as the only floor you can look out is the ground floor. And now to the first of these sets of four lifts, where one of these lifts is a service lift and three of the lifts are for the public. It is not possible to call the service lift from a public space. It is only possible to call it from a service room, but these rooms are usually locked off. In this set, the call button for the service lift is working, but when you press it, it only makes the other lift come, but not the service lift. That's so strange. Let's ride these lifts. And now to the next set of lifts, which are some really nice original Mitsubishi. In this set, the service lift is where the three lifts are, and one of the public lifts is a single lift. This single lift does not go down to the basement. Let's ride these. And now to the next set of lifts, where these lifts have been refurbished by Kona and they now have got a Kona M series chime. In this set, the service lift is the single lift. Let's ride these lifts. Come <laughs> on. 
On the left has got a very nice installation, which looks like there is a movie being played. Let's ride it! Said, I've managed to ride the service lift. At some floor, they forgot to close the service room's door, so I managed to ride it. This lift also does not go down to the basement, and it has been refurbished, and it does not have a corner chime. Oh dear. In the restaurant of this hospital, there is a small passenger sized lift which just goes from basement to ground floor. I think this lift is hydraulic, but there was no way to get in as it is behind locked doors. I could just see it through some windows. And now into the corridor where there are some small lifts on the left. And now into the middle corridor and here is another set of two small lifts. And now along a corridor where there are the next lifts, these are three lifts, two of them run in a set and one of these is a service lift but is not locked, first to the public lifts. And now to the service lift. On the way to the Triade building, there is an original single Mitsubishi lift 
but I didn't film it as I ran out of memory. And now, back along a corridor and to the fountain, where there's a really nice set of two original lifts. And these lifts, the basement is not locked. And now to the next lift, which is a single Mitsubishi lift. This lift was locked off. Later on, I managed to find out that it goes up to the helipad. I didn't bother about trying to get access. And now to the next lift, which is really odd. It does not have any call button, but I've heard some motor sound behind the door, which means that a lift was moving for some random reason. I really wonder what sort of lift this is. I did not manage to ride it. And now to the next set of two lifts, where there's a staircase between the doors of the lifts. But despite of that, they are still acting as a set, not independently. That's very odd. Now to the next set of two lifts. These lifts just go two floors. They go from the ambulance tunnel up to ground floor. These lifts are hydraulics. And now into the other big corridor where there's another set of four lifts. Ah, okay, it's just a set of three lifts and a single lift. The single lift was just another stupid service lift, which I did not manage to ride. Let's ride the main lifts here.
And now, behind the wall, there was another service lift, but I did not find it. I've just seen it on the flight and rescue plan. And now, to the final lifts in the children's ward. These lifts have got an M-series chime and the voice talker, which announces the floors, is actually a child. Thank you.